What's up guys? Welcome back to David's Feed. In the last two episodes, we were herping in Spain and found six out of nine possible snake species in two days. In this episode, we continue our quest to find them all, beginning right back in the trench where we left off. Let's get to it. So check this little guy out. This is actually a... Oh, look, he's opening his mouth to bite, but he's not actually biting when I give him the chance. What is he? Anyway, this is Coronella hirondica, the southern smooth snake. Unfortunately, again, just a little juvenile, which is a very common theme of today. All the snakes we did find were juveniles, but this yeah. is the second last species that there is in this area. So if we get one more species, we'll have every snake that you can find here. And we're trying to get it. Um, we're trying to get it. Show the cool things about this snake. Like, so yeah, look. this is just a small colubrid. Um, he's got a really beautiful venter, as you can see, with orange and black blotches like that. zoom in on that. And there's yeah. a close relative of the species, the smooth snake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? There's a close relative of this, this, the smooth snake. <laughs> and there's a close relative of this, the common smooth snake, or Coronella austriaca, which is found at a lot higher altitudes, which we're hopefully going to find in the coming days. But yeah, I'm just going to get a couple photos and let this little guy go. These guys are quite cool because they, um, they have a diet of almost exclusively reptiles. And the they, big ones will eat would, vipers. They would eat the rare and elusive Blanus. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of our major targets for oh, the yeah. coming days. But yeah, let's, uh, this is just a little one. I'm hoping we'll, over the time, find some big ones. So we're going to keep this short, go photograph it, and we're actually really, really tired. Yeah, I am really tired. We've been walking, like, all day, so... All the way through these mountains. They're literally Look killing me, and we're not even nearly back yet, so... But yeah, it was amazing to find yet another species. Every single snake we found today has been a different species. Let's yeah. go. All right. All right, I've just taken a couple shots that I'm happy with. Now I'm going to go and let it go just down here. All right, that's good. All right, let's head out. Nah, I'm kidding. I still have it here. That was just a twig. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna let it for real go down here. That's all my savings, bro. All right, the time is like, what? It's got 6.30 p.m. and we've been out yeah. since, what, 10.45 or something. So it's been a long day and we are wrecked. How many yeah. kilometers do you think we walked all in all today? Oh, I think like 20. My feet, my feet, I feel like 20, yeah. I'd say. And now, McDonald's. He sleep. Alright, after that insane day yesterday, we decided to sleep in, which is a good choice because it was really cold, rainy and windy this morning. But it's about midday now, and the sun's about to come out. It's blue sky coming in. Well, under that metal you see in the background, I just flipped this Samadromus lizard which are pretty common up in the hills, but this is the first adult I've been able to get my hands on. It was uh, nice and cold, not moving super fast, so I could get my, and you can take a look. Oh wow, sun right in my eyes. Look at that. Yeah, let's take a closer look and I'll set him back where I found him, or her. Bye-bye. Okay, I've just spotted a snake in the city. I think it's a juvenile mountain or it could be hemorrhoids. It is hemorrhoids. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we just got eight out of eight species that you can find in the low hills of the Sierra Nevada in just over 24 hours. About um, one evening, one full day and one morning. I'm glad you got to see me sort of catch that, although I doubt like the actual catch was on video because I was trying to make sure I didn't lose it. But this is the horseshoe rips, whip snake, Hemorrhoeus hippocrepus. And uh, it's actually strangely one of the most, most common snakes here, but I knew it was a good morning. When the sun just comes out after the cold and rain, I felt like I was sure to find something out. And sure enough, I spotted it. And this is so good because now we've got one more left 
and that's way up in the high mountains there's Coronella austriaca but out of all the snakes that you can find in these hills well eight out of eight species including the viper crazy and this is such a cute beautiful little snake just in the garden of oscar's place i mean oscar says he's found six species of snake in his garden and i believe him it's perfect habitat but yeah i'm gonna wake up david show him this and i guess we'll take a couple pictures and put it back but yeah my first ever horseshoe whip snake just road cruising through the Weha Sierra. Beautiful mountains and uh, hopefully we see some snakes and whatever crosses our path. Blanus. So uh, Oscar just spotted a juvenile Malpolon monspecilanus. I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, you could definitely film that. In the typical pose right now. One moment, be quiet, I'm gonna start filming anything. Is it gone? It's gone. Alright, so there is a. What is it? Timon Nev Nevadensis lizard just sitting right on the edge of the road there. He probably doesn't seem so on camera, but he's actually quite large. Well, compared to the lizards we've seen so far. Are we gonna try catch this one? Yeah. Well, I think if someone goes around so that he doesn't exit do you the go, boat. Do you go? Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay. Um. You dropped your glasses, bro. Go, There, there, there. Oh. Get it, David! Get it! Get it! Get it, David! Get it! Run! I don't, I don't want to drop the camera when I'm sprinting with it. He's in here. <laughs> hey! What's the common name for this? Like the leopard lizard or something? Uh, Sierra Nevada lizard. Sierra. Okay. They split it into oh, yeah, a new species. A species wow, look at that. Wait, let me get a close up on this. That is really beautiful. How much larger than this do they get? Males can get up to a meter. So this would be a female? Uh, I think it's a young female. Maybe it's a male because it's very colorful. There's the blue spots. Like a young male. A male. Or a young male or a very colorful female. Damn, we actually got one as well. He lost crazy. a tail when it was young. Already oh, has these, it back. These drop their tail as well? Yeah, this is all new. Normally it would be much longer. It's a beauty. If you guys want to hold it, take some pictures. Yeah, for sure. Let me just shut the camera off. The prophecy has been fulfilled. The legendary. The Blanus. Rare and elusive. Is it is bite? Blanus. It bit me when I caught it now. Can you hold it on your palm and like... We have been searching so hard for this as like our number one meme target that we thought we were going to find on like... They're actually really common, just we weren't able to locate one for a while. We thought we would find these on like the first day and yet we found all eight species of snake you get in the lowlands before we found a Blanus. And it's a worm lizard, the yep, Iberian so worm lizard. Species of legless lizard, which looks very unique. And we finally got one. Crap. And we were so Not hesitant. Not a very to, big one, though. We were so hesitant to come down here because we had to, like, climb under some fences. But uh, we'll film a bit more of it in a minute, I yeah. guess. From under that rock came this incredible thing. The Blanus. The Blanus of Doom. Want to just let it go, then? Yeah. All right, so we finally got a snake. This is another ladder snake, Renekus scalaris. We were just looking around this abandoned house here. Our friend Oscar is actually the one who found it. Um, this is still a juvenile, but as you can see, a lot bigger than the first one we found. And the ladder pattern is really uh, coming through on this one. Yeah, really, really nice. He was biting quite a bit a minute ago, but now he has calmed down Literally, nicely. the second we turn the camera on is when he stops uh, 
I think. They have a very like pointy, pointy head. They have almost like a dog type head. Yeah, I, like it reminds me of something, but I can't like. Quite I swear put it reminds me of Homolopsis. Mm, yeah, I can see what you mean. But yeah, um, we, we flipped it under some tin and abandoned structure after searching for hours in the hot heat. That's just part of searching here in Spain, though. It yeah. can take a long time to find snakes, but there are really cool snakes here, and this is... This is not really one of the... Not really the rarest snake we could find here, but in my opinion, apart from the viper, of course, definitely one of the cooler, like, to look at and handle ones. Yeah, and this is, again, just a very small juvenile. They get quite big. And they get really, uh, that you can see, even at this stage, they're quite chunky. Yeah, very, very robust. 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 You get a close up of that. And I will compare that with Naja Analifera. Yeah. But there's a, uh, not too much more to say, really. It's, uh, We're really sunburnt. <laughs> and this is what we get. <laughs> I mean, day's not over. We're heading down even further into this valley now and hopefully there'll be something else in the cards. But if not, this is definitely one of the better snakes we could have seen out here, to yep. be honest. I for sure am happier to see a ladder snake than a, like a... Coronella. Or a... Hemorrhoids. <laughs> hemorrhoids. <laughs> I don't want hemorrhoids to die. <laughs> Alright, so I've just taken a couple of photos on the big camera of this ladder snake. And now I'm going to release it right in here. Okay, so welcome to the Sierra Nevada. We are up, uh, what's the elevation here? Like 2,200 or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And we are gonna be looking for? Coronella. And, and vipers. So, AKA the two hardest species to find in Andalusia. But, um. Didn't we say that about the as 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 that was because before? I didn't know the Coronella Ostriaca existed. Good point. <laughs> But yeah, it's a very beautiful village up here. High mountains, grasslands, lots of rocks. It's gonna be a long day. Oh man, herping can be tough. We've been walking out here in the sun, in the heat for hours. There's David way up there on the mountain. Yo, the maddest thing just happened. We hiked about for, for hours, absolutely hours in the sun. And then these kids just flipped. <laughs> The last species we had to see in Andalusia, and the rarest one of all, Coronella ostriaca, the smooth snake. They flipped it under a rock, and we heard them shouting, Sepiente ran over, and there it was. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, I'm gonna let everyone, the kids have their fun. They're sort of enjoying the snake. We're showing them that it's harmless and that. And then we're gonna film some more properly with it in a minute, get the big camera out. All right, so we've just finished another really well, now productive day of herping. We were herping for hours and hours, looking in all the like natural habitat areas, and then when we got back to kind of the parking lot here, we had some kids playing around, and we heard them say serpiente, or snake in Spanish, so we went sprinting over, and surely enough, right on the parking lot here is this very special little snake. This marks the last species that we had left to find in the area, meaning we found all nine snakes that can be found in this mountain range. And this is for sure the rarest. Yeah, of all this of them. one is very, very rare here. This is the most southern area where this one can be found in all of Spain. Because usually this species is distributed in like very, very temperate areas across Western and Northern Europe. And yet, it's got an isolated population up here in the mountains of Sierra Nevada, which is apparently a leftover relic population from the last ice age, because up here basically stayed the same, whereas everywhere else became like that sort of Spanish scrubby desert. But it's really beautiful, way more beautiful than the ones we get in England. Yeah, the contrast on it is really nice. The head kind of reminds me of Kukri's from Asia, although it is a little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> I disagree strongly with that statement, but uh, I'll let you guys, if anyone sees any similarities, like, let me know. But even though this is, I think, the only snake I've seen on this trip, which I've seen before, species-wise, I'm so incredibly excited to find this because the yeah. significance of it is, is huge. This is, again, just like all of the snakes we found this trip, just a very tiny little juvenile. They get quite a yeah. bit bigger and they feed on reptiles. So these might even, when they're adults, be feeding on small little Vipera latastae. All right, well, should we let him go? Yeah, I guess we should tuck him back under a rock. Um, that'll be good. 
So while the guys are up there photographing the snake, I just wandered off just to get some peace and quiet in this beautiful mountain scenery and reflect on what's been an incredible trip so far. All nine of Andalusia's snake species in three days. That would be no easy feat in three months, let alone three days. And I'm just so impressed and I've been so enamored by the Spanish people and habitat and general life here. It's been great. We've met some amazing people who have really, really helped us out and shout out to them. They know who they are. But uh, let's get back to herping or whatever the hell we do next. What are we gonna do? We found everything. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our Spain herping series. If you did, make sure you leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And as always, massive shout out to our Patreon supporters who you can see on screen now. Peace.